What's up everyone? Today we have this. It is the Corsair IQ H150i Elite Capelix, if that's even how you say it. Capelix? I think it's Capelix. Whatever, let's just say it that way. Alright, quick unboxing of this thing. Most like so it's a 360 millimeter uh, liquid cooler. So it has liquid inside there to keep your computer cold. Uh, well, at least the CPU. This is a CPU cooler. So, let's see what we get inside. I will be doing some test fitting inside that case, as I'll be using in the build. Uh, it's going to be mounted on the side so that air can be exhausted out of there. So, so the hot air doesn't accumulate inside the computer. That's my thought. So it has some warranty information, some uh, other guides and stuff like that. So we have some fans. I'm not exactly sure what kind of fans these are. Let's see. Doesn't say. These are an unknown type of fan. They're all right. I think they're magnetic levitation fan. Uh, I don't feel any... Uh... Oh, wait. Now I do. It's just very soft. You know, there's some intervals in the fan. Uh, you just, I don't know what... Uh... If you built computers, you've probably experienced that before. There are like different... When you spin the fan blade, you can't put it exactly where you want it. It'll, it will kind of fall into a, a, uh, a spot in the loop, or in the, uh, you know, cycle. Here we have some mounting hardware. This is for TR4, Threadripper. This is for Intel, which I'll be using. And last but definitely not least is for AMD's AM4. Or AM, I don't know. AMD, AM4, same thing. But AMD also makes other ones like AM3, AM2, TR4, but that's another thing. Here we have some hardware for it. Nice. So I guess that's proprietary hardware. Oh, right. This also comes with a Commander Core. IQ Commander Core, which is what I'm really excited about. This is a little um, hub that you connect the you connect it to. It comes with ports for the fans, the RGB. So I'll be using three of them and three of them. So three RGB, three ports for the fans. This connects through to your computer via USB. And I bought a USB hub, at an internal USB hub. You've seen external ones where you know. External USB hubs. You've probably seen them. They let you connect more USB devices on the outside, more iPhones to charge, more of everything. You know, could be anything you're connecting. USB drive, but this one's internal. Show you in another video, probably the build itself. Okay, here's the radiator. Oh, it also comes with a, another cover. Ooh. I hope I don't bend any of the fins. See, there's a cover there, I'll show you. Right now it's a black colored one, they also have a white one, if you're into that. Or at least a more clear one for more color to go through. That's kind of white on the bottom. Yeah, just whatever you're more into. What other colors you like, or if you like more color or less color. But you bought this thing because there's more color, isn't it? Anyway, let's take off this thing on it. And let's see. Have a single wire that goes to the motherboard, probably for RPM. And here, this goes to the commander core. So you do need the commander core, it's not optional. Okay, so. Just leave that in the case for now. See what else we get. Nothing else. Cool. Okay. Time to unbox some of the fans that I have in a separate video. Uh, go look for that on my channel somewhere. But I will be showing it, this radiator to you. I'll continue after I unbox the fans in a separate video. Uh, although I don't think you'll get that many views. <laughs> it's just some fans. And I won't even test them. I'm not even showing you any testing. And neither am I in this video. Uh, I'm just 
merely unboxing and test fitting it inside a case. So yeah, uh, see you in a few minutes, I guess, but with the magic of editing in a few seconds. What's up everyone? Today we have this, it is a Corsair QL120 RGB three pack of fans. It's about $109 for three fans. Kind of pricey in my opinion, in my very humble opinion. A little pricey for fans, but they're worth it because they're really nice fans. Oh, <laughs> thought this would be heavy. Let's see what we get in here. If I can even cut this properly. Finally. Okay, we get the lighting controllers. First, we get a. Oh, I don't want to drop anything. A lot of screws. And here is the lighting node core, I think. They call it an RGB hub, as indicated here. I believe it's a lighting node core, not lighting node pro. That's something else. And the first thing, well, second thing, is the fan itself. Very nice. Feels very high quality. Moves air, obviously. That's what a fan does. Yeah, and, oh, another special thing about the QL120s. They have... Hang on, let me peel this piece of plastic off. Okay, good. They, um, I can leave that somewhere. They have, um, lights on both sides. Most, most RGB fans already have it on one side, which is more than enough. But this one has gone the extra, extra mile and, and put, put RGB on both sides. There's RGB rings on both sides. Okay, there, yeah, that's better. Yeah, there's an RGB ring, one here, one here, one here, and one that illuminates the entire fan. So, lots of RGB, I guarantee you that. Nothing else in the box. And in the other two boxes, the exact same thing, another fan with lots of RGB on it. Each fan, interestingly, has two terminals on it. One is for, obviously, to connect to your motherboard or a fan hub, whatever, to give it power. The other one is called the RGB one. It says two RGB hub, which is the, presumably the one that comes with it. Or something like this, which is a Corsair Commander. This one is the Commander uh, Core, which only comes with some, some uh, what are they called? Liquid coolers. This one came with the H150i Elite Capellix. I hope I said that right. Uh, yeah. So it's the same thing in the in the last box. Another fan. I plan to put them on this radiator here. Like I said, this is the H150i Capellix. So, yeah. Go check out that video if you want to see more of, of these fans. I'm not going to be testing them in either video. I'm simply going to be mounting it to this radiator and test fitting it in that case. So back to the other video. Uh, well, thanks for watching this video, and if you want to go look at the other one, go find it on my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, we have the radiator here. I'll zoom in on it so you can see it. Hopefully, don't move it that much, or else you won't be able to see it. It is a pretty tight zoom. Anyway, I have a bunch of these really long screws that are meant to go through the fan and then into the radiator. So let's mount our first fan. take a while maybe I'll just I'll just time lapse it <laughs> 